Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Linda, and uh, I'm the mother of boys. <laughs> Go ahead, take a moment, collect a silence, prayer maybe, internal thoughts conjuring up inside your head like, that poor woman, I'm surprised her nails are done. Ew, do you think all of her toilet seats are always raised? <laughs> Honey, she looks showered. I have three boys, ages 7, 10, and 45. <laughs> and besides the guinea pigs, the cat and the dog are boys too. And believe me, those little piggies offer very little in terms of female companionship and support. In fact, they're just downright needy. Having grown up on a farm with three sisters and multiple animals, I always consider myself pretty rough and tumble. I spent my days playing in the pond, making mud pies, being sprayed down by a hose at the end of the day, anxiously awaiting the firefly hunt to begin. It was pretty messy and dirty. I loved it. It was great. In fact, I wasn't even allowed to have long hair because my mom was tired of pulling out all the burrs. However, I do remember always asking for a Dorothy Hamill haircut when I went to the barber, so I could at least look like a little girl. And it wasn't until recently that I realized the key word in that little story is barber. <laughs> yes, yeah, so inevitably, the little boy pixie cut is what I sported. For the majority of my childhood, I received comments like, what a cute boy you are. Or to my parents, oh, how old is your little boy? And in many ways, I was a little boy. Until I realized, well, I wasn't once, once really junior high rolled around. Since I was never a girly girl, I've always related well to boys. But truthfully, I had no idea what it meant to have boys, to raise boys, until they arrived one by one. <laughs> So for those of you who are contemplating what it might be like to raise boys, I offer you this list of reflecting and acknowledging thoughts. Consider these pink flags of what is to come. And for those of you who are already raising boys, consider this a slight nod a wink. I know what wine you're drinking, sister. <laughs> those of you who only have girls and wonder quizzically, what's going on with that boy, with those boys? And why aren't their mothers controlling them? <laughs> I also offer this list to maybe help you understand them just a little better. Please also recognize that this is not a fully comprehensive nor conclusive list, and it does include my bias of these specific children. If your boy does not display some of these traits or attributes, Please see me after the event today so that you may offer me some advice <laughs> or perhaps a place to stay on the weekends. <laughs> what are boys? Boys are active with a capital A. Boys are actually born genetically different than girls. In fact, they have two, if, one if not two hollow legs with which you will be responsible for filling with groceries through their high school years. Boys are silly. Boys are gross. <laughs> Let me repeat that one. Boys are gross. Poop, fart, burp, oh, it's all so hysterical. <laughs> For all three of my boys. <laughs> boys play with it from the day they are born. They do. In fact, it's quite enjoyable. <laughs> Boys, well named Clark, Bruce, or Peter, fully live out their lives by their formal, na formal names, Superman, Batman, and Spider-Man. <laughs> Boys love to pee everywhere, including the neighbor's bushes, as well as the toilet seat upon which I sit at midnight. <laughs> Boys do believe that dirtiness is closer to godliness. Boys are curious. Why is the sky blue? Where is Mars? Mom, why does everyone in this house have a penis except for you? <laughs> yeah, and how do you pee anyway? <laughs> now this list might appear somewhat obvious. After all, many of us in this room are 
are with grown-up versions of these boys. But what you may not know about is the secret list, the one we mothers of boys hold very tightly to our chest. What boys also are. Boys are blessings. Boys hug and cuddle like no other. Boys look at their mama like she's the most amazing mama in the whole world, and at their dad like he's a hero, which he is. Boys invented butterfly kisses. Boys give you notes like, I will love you forever. Boys fight hard and forgive harder. Boys next smell delicious most of the time. <laughs> boys have the most contagious giggles. And finally, boys grow into the men that we love and who someday will make mothers of all your little girls out there. <laughs> so be kind to little boys and continue to support and care for their mothers. Thank you.